Hi, this is Rob Hanley with the Durham Duplicate Bridge Club on Tuesday, June the 25th for the 499er game. We have two hands for you today, and the first one is number five. As you can see, my partner started by opening one no trump, and I have to decide how to continue. Now, you're all familiar with Jacoby transfers, so to show a five-card major, uh, I would transfer by bidding the suit below it, so two diamonds would show hearts, uh, and then I would further describe my hand at my next opportunity. However, there is a, an, an associated convention called Texas Transfers, and they're sort of similar to Jacoby Transfers because you're bidding the suit below the suit you have, but you're doing it at the four level. So in this case, I'm going to bid four diamonds, and that is transfer to hearts. Four hearts by me would have been a transfer to spades. Um, the difference between the two is that a Jacoby Transfer at the two level does not show six, it shows five, and it may or may not be the trump suit. When I make a Texas transfer, I am unconditionally setting trump as hearts. So the main difference to that, other than the setting trump, is the follow-up bids that might happen. If you made a Jacoby transfer and then subsequently bid for no trump, that would be a quantitative raise in no trump while also holding a five card major. With a Texas transfer, if I make that bid and then bid for no trump, uh, it's 1430 for the heart suit in this case, because I have set Trump as hearts. And that can be quite useful sometimes. So in this case, I'm not looking for slam, so I'm just going to pass and let my partner play. Now I'm playing with three robots today, so my partner isn't playing very slowly. Um, but the good news is this really is a very difficult hand to play. Uh, it's just a of crossing and taking the heart finesse, which lost. Uh, and, and no matter what you do, you're still going to lose two diamonds. Uh, fortunately, that is still leads to making the contract, and that's the most important thing. Now, one of the other side effects I found in playing with robots is I cannot claim, so we're going to have to all sit here for a couple of seconds while the robot finishes playing. And there you can see I have nothing but trump left. And we took 10 bucks. So a good example of a Texas transfer. Uh, and uh, it's a good convention to play. Very common. All right, we're going to pause while I change directions for the next hand. All right, uh, as you can see, we've moved on to hand number eight. And this time there's two passes to me and I'm in third seat. And I have five diamonds and to the ace king and 10 high card points. So while normally you would pass this kind of hand, I am in third seat. Uh, and a lot of people will open fairly light in third seat, provided that their suit is good. Uh, in this case, I have a really nice diamond suit and I want partner to lead a diamond. Uh, so I'm going to open one diamond. Now, you would only do this when your partner's a passed hand. And part of the reason for that is your partner can't have enough points to get too carried away in the auction. One no trump on my left, two clubs on my right. I made my bid right off the opening and I've got nothing left to say. I'm just going to pass. So they have charged off to three no trump. The robot on my left has four hearts and the one on my right must have four spades having bid stamen. And my partner has duly led a diamond, which is what I wanted. Now, when we look at the dummy, it's looking pretty good. They certainly have enough points to be in three no trump. There's 11 there. I have 10. That's 21 and 15 to 17 on my left. So partner's not really left with a lot of points. Uh, so sort of like three to five points. So I have to decide how to play the diamond suit. Obviously, if I could score four diamonds and the king of clubs, the contract is going down. Now, my partner has led a small diamond, but there is still room for them to have the two of diamonds to go with that four. Normally, when you lead a small card in your partner's suit, it's going to be from length in the suit or from an honor in the suit. So partner could have jack third, or they could have queen third, uh, or as I just mentioned, they could have a doubleton with four two of diamonds. So the robot on my left overcalled one no trump, and 
they should have a diamond stopper for that. So I'm going to place them with the queen. The real question is, do they have queen jack fourth or do they have queen third? And it's an important distinction. If they have three of them in the left with the south robot, so three to the queen, then I can probably defeat the contract by going ace king of diamonds and exiting a diamond or by just ducking one diamond. And then if my partner gets in later or I do, I just run off the diamonds and get the king of clubs. However, if there are four diamonds to the queen jack on my left, there is actually no way to set up those diamonds before they get to their nine tricks. So uh, how do I figure out which one it is? Well, I'm actually going to start by taking the king of diamonds and I'm going to play the ace, which is a bit unusual in case my partner had a doubleton. And there it is. So now I know that the robot on my left started with queen jack, fourth of diamonds. So they have two more diamond tricks. So I have to look for something else to play. I could play a spade here. The problem with leading a spade is that it looks like the clearer is probably going to have to take a finesse into my partner's hand just naturally. And if there is a trick in my partner's hand in spades, they're getting it no matter what I do. So I don't really want to lead a spade into Jack 10 fourth because that's just going to help declare set up his spades. Obviously I'm not going to lead a club because well, I'm just giving a finesse against myself. And as I said, there's no point in continuing diamonds. So that leaves hearts. Uh, so here we go. 10 of hearts. So Declarer ducked that king of hearts that my partner took, obviously in an effort to block the suit. Uh, it also reinforces that this was a good choice for a switch. There's a spade, no surprise there. And another spade. The fact that they hash two spades there makes me think that the South Robot also has the queen. So now they're catching their diamonds and they're going to take that finesse and clubs, which they needed. So at this point we have three tricks. I'm going to win this trick and I'm going to cash my nine of diamonds, which should be good or hearts rather. And it is. So we've defeated the contract and that was the point of it all. So at this point, I'm not too concerned about what the return is. We beat the contract. That's all that matters. All right, so down one. Now that you can see all four hands, you can see that returning a diamond would not have helped. Ducking a diamond would not have helped because Declarer would have timing on the hand in order to set those spades up and or the clubs. By switching to a heart, I actually forced out their entry in hearts while setting us up for extra tricks in hearts. That's the only viable place to find extra tricks. Uh, all in all, an interesting hand for the defense. All right, thanks. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks.